Hello everyone, I hope that everyone is doing very well. Here I am Suraj and here in this video I will be telling you about the Houtrist theory of business cycle. According to the Houtrist theory, what is the main cause, what is the main factor, what is the main reason of the fluctuation of the business cycle. So in the last video I have already discussed about what is business cycle, what are the various you know phases of the business cycle okay so if you have not watched this video you can watch this video i will share the link at the description box so in this video i will tell you what is the main cause main reason and the main factor of the fluctuation of the business cycle so if we see the business cycle we can see that the upward and downward movement of the cycle right so it is nothing but the fluctuation of the business activities in an economy but according to this theory what is the main cause what is the main factor of this fluctuation so here you can see that professor Houtre considered straight cycle to be purely monetary phenomenon so here according to this theory monetary phenomenon or we can say the money supply is the main reason of the fluctuation of this business cycle so according to him non-monetary factors like words strike floods and drought may causes only temporary depression how to believes that expansion and contraction of money are the basic causes of the trade cycle basic causes of this fluctuation of the trade cycle okay money supply changes due to changes in the rate of interest yes how to according to the how to theory money supply or the monetary phenomena is the main causes money supply is the main cause of the fluctuation of the business cycle but the question is when there will be money supply here it is mentioned that money supply changes due to changes in the rate of interest yes when the rate of interest will increase and when rate of interest will decrease so according to this theory money supply is the main causes of the fluctuation of the business cycle right but when there will be <coughs> money supply and when rate of interest will you know change right so according to this theory when bank will have the excess cash reserve bank will try to provide more loan okay so if bank want to provide more loan what they will do they will reduce the rate of interest okay so if they reduce the rate of interest it will attract the various investors it will attract the various entrepreneurs various businessmen they will think that it is an opportunity since the rate of interest is very less so they will take loan from the bank and they will start investing so according to this theory we can see that money supply is the main reason and the causes the money supply changes due to changes in the rate of interest so when there will be money supply in the economy when bank will have the excess cash reserve and if bank bank if bank will have the excess cash reserve what they will do they will in, they will try to increase their loan amount they will try to provide more loan and if they want to provide more loan they will reduce their rate of interest it will attract the other investors various investors various entrepreneurs various businessmen they will think they will see it as an opportunity okay so they will take the loan from the bank and they will start investing so if the investment increase okay if investment is there in the economy obviously the employment employment generation in the economy will also increases okay so if employment generation increases obviously the income generation in the economy you know will increase so if income generation in the economy increases obviously the demand of the product will also increase and if the demand of the product will increase the prices of the product will increase and if the prices of the products increases obviously the business organization will earn more profit means all these things are being happened at the expansion stage so our first stage of the business cycle is expansion stage okay so at the expansion stage we can see that money supply will be there when when bank will have the excess cash reserve they will reduce the rate of interest business or business individual you know uh, entrepreneurs uh, you know they will think that since rate of interest is less they will see it as an opportunity they will take the loan from the bank and they will pro they will start investing so at the expansion stage we can see that investment will increase income if the if the if there is an investment in the economy obviously the income generation will also increase so income generation will also be there if income generation increases you know obviously the demand of the product increases and if the demand of the product increases prices of the product will also increase 
and the business or organization will earn more profit so everything we can see is all these things we can see uh, at the expansion stage okay so at the expansion stage investment is there employment generation is there income is there production is there and the business will earn more profit but at the point of the time this expansion stage is will touch the highest saturation point means the this is called the peak stage okay so this is the highest level of the economic condition or is the upper or nature sector right so at the at the peak stage the business organization will earn huge profit okay because prices of the product will increase prices of the product will increase demand of the product will increase so business organization will earn huge profit right so it will attract the other investors it will attract the other businessmen <coughs> and other businessmen will come forward they will also try to produce the same product okay so they will also try to take loan from the bank but but at the peak stage the bank will increase the rate of interest because bank bank will bank has already provided loan to the various investors so bank will there will be less cash reserve in the bank so obviously bank will increase their rate of interest so if bank increases their rate of interest the factor cost of the production will increase right and at the other side those who have taken loan from the bank because at the expansion stage we can see that various people will take loan various individuals businessmen entrepreneurs will take loan from the bank okay so after a certain period of the time obviously they will have to pay back the loan to the bank bank will ask them to repay their loan so when our economy will at the stage of the peak at the peak stage the various investors the business organization will have to you know pay back their loan obviously they will have to you know sell their stake sell the stock of the organization to pay back the loan to the bank so if they sell the stock of the organization obviously they will have to reduce their investment and if they reduces if they reduce their investment obviously the production they will have to reduce the production and if they reduce the production obviously there will be employment cut so from the peak stage our economy will gradually you know gradually enter into the recession stage okay so at the recession stage we can see that the rate of interest uh, will increase okay so there will be less money supply in the economy because here at the recession stage we can see that the individuals the businessmen those who have taken loan from the bank they will they are giving their you know money back they are paying their loan back to the bank so at the recession stage we can see that factor cost will increase okay rate of interest will increase there will be no money supply in the economy okay so if the recession and the unemployment generation will also increase okay and if this recession stage uh, stays for the long period of the time it will go below the normal line and it, it will enter into the depression period okay so at the depression period there will be no money supply no investment will be there unemployment generation will be very high okay and demand of the product uh, will be very less so here at the depression stage we can see that the rate of interest will be very high no money supply is there okay and the unemployment is very high and from the depression stage our economy will touch the lowest saturation point means this is the very the economic condition will be very bad at the trough stage this is the lowest saturation point at this means isse niche or nahi gir sakta economy right so the trough point is the lowest saturation point here no investment no money supply rate of interest is very high but since from the recession stage we can at the recession stage we can see that bank is taking loan the taking the their loan back from the investor so at the trough stage we can also see that bank will have the again bank will have the excess cash reserve because everyone will you know pay back their loan to the bank so at the trough stage drop stage is the lowest saturation point but bank will so at the drop stage what we can see the our economy will touch into the lowest saturation point but since from in the in the you know uh, 
recession stage or in the depression stage you can see that everyone is paying back their loan to the bank so at the trough at the, at the trough stage bank will again have the excess cash reserve so again bank will try to provide more loan and uh, if bank want to provide more loan they will reduce their you know rate of reduce the rate of interest so again it will attract the individuals businessmen or the entrepreneurs again business entrepreneurs will see it as an opportunity and they will again come forward they will again take loan from the bank and from the trough point our economy will gradually start a recovery okay so since at the trough stage we can see that bank will have again the excess cash reserve they will uh, reduce the rate of interest because they will try to provide more loans so again the business you know individuals uh, entrepreneurs and the various investors will see it as an opportunity they will come for they will they will take loan from the bank okay so our economy will you know our economy will start recovery and from the recovery stage our economy will you know <coughs> go upward and will touch the again the expansion stage so the movement will go upward and downward like that okay so in this according to this theory the main causes of the fluctuation of the business cycle is money supply when there will be money supply when bank will have the excess cash if bank have the excess cash okay they will reduce their rate of interest and it will attract the various in investors various entrepreneurs okay they will take the loan from the bank investment will increase then the employment generation will increase income generation will increase demand of the product will increase the prices of the product will increase then the business organization will earn more profit but after a certain period of the time bank will ask to provide uh, to you know to bank will ask to the you know investors businessmen to pay back the loan to the bank okay so obviously business organization will have to pay back the loan to the bank they will uh, business um, and businessmen and uh, entrepreneurs so the investor will sell the stock of the organization and uh, they will reduce uh, they will have to reduce the investment they will have to reduce the production obviously unemployment generation will increase so our economy will enter into the recession period and from the recession period our economy will enter into the depression period and from the at the depression period money supply will no money supply will be there okay so bank will only take back the loan from the investors from the businessmen those who have taken loan from the bank right so no money supply will be there rate of interest will be very high but when bank when our economy will touch into the least saturation lowest saturation point the trough stage again bank will have the excess cash reserve ratio they will try to provide again more loan they will reduce the rate of interest again this will attract the individuals this will attract the investors and this will attract the various entrepreneurs and again they will come for they will see it as an opportunity and they will take loan from the bank and they will start investing so gradually our economy will start recovery and from the recovery stage our economy will i you know again go upward and will touch the expansion stage so this movement will go upward and downward so according to this theory the main reason is the money supply okay so money supply is the main reason of the fluctuation <coughs> in the business cycle okay but how to risk theory has been criticized on many ground because how to risk theory is considered to be an incomplete theory okay as it doesn't take into account the non monetary factors which cause the fluctuation which can be the fluctuation of the which can be the causes of the fluctuation in the business cycle so according to the howdress theory only the monetary factor is the main cause money supply is the sole reason of the fluctuation of the business cycle and this theory has totally ignored the non monetary factor but we have experienced during the covid 19 how uh, we have seen that how this covid 19 pandemic has totally you know destroyed the economy how it has impacted the entire economy right how it has uh, you know impacted the economy and in in the entire world so the covid 19 pandemic is a non monetary factor so non monetary factor can also be the reason in the fluctuation of the business cycle right so war can all war can also affect in the economy so the non monetary a drought then the other natural calamity right so this can also be the fluctuation reason in the fluctuation of the business economy so this theory has totally ignored the you know non monetary factor like war then drought natural calamity flood okay and recently we have experienced the covid 19 pandemic how it has impacted the entire world right 
so this non monetary factor can also be the reason of the fluctuation of the business cycle but, but this theory has totally ignored the non monetary factor according to this theory money supply is the sole reason of the fluctuation of the business cycle again this theory is saying that when there will be money supply when the rate of interest will be very less but yes there is a limitation because see, see if the expectation of the profit is very high if the marginal efficiency of the capital is very high suppose and if an if an investor thinks that if he invest in this particular sector there will be high return okay so this is expectation of the profit see if the expectation of the profit is high investor will not care about what is the rate of interest in the bank okay so if anyone wants to invest in a particular sector if he thinks that you know if if he you know invest invest money in this particular sector there will be huge return so he will not care about what is the rate of interest in the bank if the rate of interest is high obviously he will take loan from the bank because he knows that if he invest in this particular sector the return will be very high this is the expectation of the profit means the marginal efficiency of the capital if an individual if a businessman you know invest in a particular sector there will be huge return so they will not care about what is the rate of interest in the bank if the thing that if they invest in this particular sector there will be huge return they will take loan from the bank so this factor is also ignored in by this theory so this theory also ignored the factor of this of factor of the expectation of the profit the marginal efficiency of capital because this theory is saying that the money supply is the sole reason and when there will be money supply when the due to the changes of the rate of interest but this the this rate of interest cannot be the sole reason because in case of the in if there is a huge expectation of the profit if the marginal marginal efficiency of the capital is high rate of interest cannot affect okay so business or business people you know businessmen the entrepreneurs uh, <coughs> the investor will not care about what is the rate of interest in the bank if their expectation of the profit is high okay so this theory also ignored this okay so this is another limitation of this theory so the first limitation can be he this theory totally ignored the non monetary factor and again the another limitation is this theory is only saying that the rate of the due to the changes of the money supply will be there due to the changes of the rate of interest but if the expectation of the profit is high it will the money the rate of interest will not be affected right in the money supply if the expectation of the profit is high if the marginal efficiency of the capital is high obviously the businessmen obviously the investors entrepreneurs will invest okay so they will not care about what is the rate of you know interest in the bank okay so according to this theory according to the theory of uh, you know according to the hartress theory of business cycle or we can also say according to the hartress monetary theory the main cause of the fluctuation of the business cycle is money supply okay when there will be money supply when bank will have the excess cash reserve obviously they will reduce the if bank uh, you know if a bank has excess cash reserve there will be uh, a change in the rate of interest they will reduce their rate of interest and they will try to provide more loans so according to this theory money supply is the sole reason of the fluctuation in the business cycle okay so i hope that you have understood thank you thank you so much